time for Top 5 Friday, and it's all about the Disney Channel, y'all. Specifically, we're breaking down some of the series secrets that you may not have known. Now keep track of what you know, you don't know, and leave a comment below with any fun DC facts you would like to share. Up first, it's all about old school Disney. I'm talking about Lizzie McGuire. We all know and love Hilary Duff in this starring role, and the show really wouldn't be the same without her. In fact, rumor is that she almost quit acting just one week before her audition for the show. She was apparently discouraged after being dropped from an NBC sitcom. And keep in mind that even before Hillary auditioned for the role, Sarah Paxton was considered to play Lizzie. And though she obviously did not book it, she did guest star on the Lizzie for President episode. Okay, it's been really, really, really cool being your class president. And I'm really, really, really bummed that my term is over. But I'm really, really, really psyched introducing you, your new class president. And guys, the original show name was What's Lizzie Thinking? At number four, That's So Raven. Did you guys know that this is the first Disney Channel show to hit the 100 episode milestone? Plus, the show broke the 65 episode limit, basically a self-imposed time frame when a TV series would wrap up in order to avoid a show getting old or stale and to limit the amount of money paid in the form of residuals. Word on the street is that the Disney Channel show was shot in chronological order starting during season three. And another interesting tidbit is that the That's So Raven set is apparently the same set used for Saved by the Bell. Maybe Mr. Belding could have been the principal to Zach, Kelly, Slater, Screech, and Raven too? Interesting. Keep in mind that this is the first Disney Channel series to have a spin-off. It was Cory in the House, starring Kyle Massey, if you're wondering. Speaking of which, at number three, let's talk spin-offs. Cory in the House, as well as The Sweet Life on Deck, were uber successful TV show follow-ups, but some potential series didn't even get a chance. The high school musical DCOM got a spin-off TV show called Madison High, all about a school with an awesome theater program encouraging students to create stage productions based on their lives. G. Hanilius, Luke Benward, Catherine McNamara, and even the drama teacher Ms. Darbus from HSM were all apparently signed on. And what about the fact that Selena Gomez, obviously from Wizards of Waverly Place, well, she was set to star in two spin-off pilots, neither of which made it to air. One was supposed to be a follow-up to Lizzie McGuire. It was called What's Stevie Thinking? That would have starred Selena. And then the other was a spin-off to The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody called Arwen! Exclamation point, where she would have played the character Alexa. How are we gonna get past your Uncle Arwen? Don't worry. Operation get a fake phone call that your brother is sick, so we have to study at your house and sneak out to the party's about to begin. Great! So what's the plan? <laughs> okay, up next on our top five countdown, it's all about Wizards of Waverly Place. Where'd even start with this one? What about with the title? The show was originally titled The Amazing Hannigans, which means the character Alex Russo would have actually been named Julia Hannigan. But then the title was switched to The Amazing O'Malley's, so in that case, Selena Gomez would have played Brooke O'Malley. It's just so weird to hear, right? There was even a point in time that the show was going to be called Disney's Wizards. Now, there's another little known tidbit that Joe Jonas auditioned and was seriously considered for the role of Justin Russo. And then Demi Lovato's sister, Dallas, was apparently signed on for the show pilot, but she was cut from the original series as a regular cast member. Another cool thing about Wizards, the show actually surpassed That's So Raven as the most successful and longest running Disney Channel show when it hit 106 episodes over four seasons. And finally, we're talking all about Hannah Montana. I bet that you super fans know a lot of these facts, but here they all are just in case. First, let's talk casting. Apparently, JoJo turned down the starring role and Taylor Momsen also auditioned for the part, but when her name was actually Chloe Stewart. Apparently, Miley tried out for the role of Lily originally, who we all know was actually portrayed by Emily Osmond, but she wound up booking the role of Miley slash Hannah in the end. Good thing, too. Now, you probably knew this, but it's still so surprising to discuss. Jason Earls, AKA Jackson on Hannah Montana, is more than 15 years older than his character. Plus, Mitchell Musso apparently wore his hair below his ears during the Disney Channel series run in order to hide his ear piercings. And FYI, 
each Hannah Montana episode title was referencing a famous song. All right, that is it for now. What was the most surprising thing you learned or even just remembered about any of these Disney Channel TV shows? Post a comment below and be sure to click right over here to watch five really weird celebrity obsessions. I swear, it's a fun segment to watch. I'm your host, Dana Ward. Thanks again for checking out Clever TV. I hope you have an awesome weekend. Bye.